You know something real stupid? I'm saying, okay, so I wasn't feeling good this morning, and I've, I was sick this morning, and I felt better over the day, and, uh, and let's say, let's say I had corona, and I didn't go to school because I'm sick. And, uh, I was like, it's not my fault that you went, that you stayed home, like, so I don't know if you're too sick, if you're too sick to go to school, then you're too sick to play video games. Now, the only thing I get is because, oh, you don't want your kid not just going home acting like they're sick because they want to play video games. I don't want to go, I mean, I don't want to, that's not the reason I, I wouldn't, I don't act like I'm sick, it's just, uh, I lost consciousness, I lost, oh yeah. It's I'm sick, so uh, maybe because I feel I don't feel good, or I don't want to go to school. Because if I go to school, there's no point because I'm not gonna be able to do anything. And I'm probably just gonna be going home anyways. And uh, I, I was like, it's not my fault. And who's his fault? Is it my fault that my body has caught something? Like I stay healthy. I wash my hands. I take showers. I do everything that is healthy. It's not my fault that all of a sudden I feel sick for no reason at all. So basically, my mom's blaming me for getting sick. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Then she's like, oh, well, since you're too sick, you can't play video games. It's like, oh, well, if I feel, like, let's say I feel better, like, I get better. And then, let's say I get better up throughout the day where I don't feel horrible or feel like just wanting to throw up. So I hop on video games, and mom's like, uh, you, you can do that, is whatever I just said. And so basically... And it's like, she's just like, you know, if you want, if you don't want to play video games, you need to go to school. So like, okay, fine. I guess my mom wants me to go to school, let's say with any disease, it doesn't matter. And then I'll be allowed to play video games. So like, I mean, I like video games a lot. That's literally the only fun thing to do. I mean, I have a bunch of stuff, but everything gets boring and like that. Video games, there's a bunch of stuff I can do. And just sit around and do nothing. Like what I'm doing now, so my mom's basically telling me, telling me to go so so to sick, not feeling well or feeling sick. Maybe I'm just not feeling well and I just don't do anything that day and I just throw up like three times throughout the day because you know I feel sick and I don't want to move and but I'm forced to move to go to class to class. So I throw up like three times, but I mean the school is telling me to go home, but I'm not going home because I'm I don't want I want to play video games. And then when I let's say I did go to the school day and then I uh, get home, I still feel horrible. But you know, since I feel since I feel horrible, my mom's gonna be like, my mom isn't gonna care if I play video games. And so her logic about being too sick to go to school, meaning too sick to stay home, even though, like, that doesn't make sense at all. Uh, doesn't even work at all. And then basically she wants me to get everyone else sick so they don't go to school either. So, I mean, that's great, great parent for uh, telling their kid to go to school sick. Yeah. Uh, now I'm trying to think of what I was going to say. One second. Let's say, okay, let's first for a recap. Let's say I, I go to school. Let's say, let's say I have a fever and I'm really sick and I, I have the flu. And I stay home. And mom was like, and the flu, I've, and then like, I was like, I got the flu on the weekend. I didn't feel good the weekend. And then the day, uh, the day of Monday, let's say I go to school and like, I would say it's a school day and like halfway through the day, I feel better and I go to play video games. And my mom's like, uh, you can't do that. You were too, you feel too sick. You can't play video games because if you're sick, you can't sit on your butt. And move your hands in the thing and talk to people. Because you definitely can't do that if you're sick. But if you are sick. But if you're sick, you can definitely walk around the whole day writing stuff down. Moving your whole body. And not getting any kind of rest. For like seven hours. Because that also makes lots of sense. And then 
yeah, and then basically, yeah, that's what happens if I don't go to school is I get ground, I get grounded for not going to school, so people don't get sick. Okay, let's say I really want to play video games because I'm starting to feel better that morning, but I still feel horrible and I probably still have the illnesses of the flu and it's still contagious. Let's say I go to school, I interact with about like fifty people an hour. Well, no, no, like thirty-two people an hour. And all those 32 people, like, has a chance of getting sick. And let's say a bunch of people get sick. I'm going home because my mom doesn't want me to go. My mom doesn't my mom doesn't care that I'm sick. As long as I go to school, it's okay. Yeah. And then everyone else gets sick and then everyone else gets sick. And, not, and all of a sudden, my whole school is sick. And then I'll be the only one. Then I'll then the school shut down. And then, then that will happen. I don't know. The whole school went shut down for good, but it'll you know, like so many people there. And if everyone's logic was that way, if everyone's parents were like glad my parents, then everyone would get everyone sick, and everyone would just like end up being sick for a very long time. You know, it'll be like a like a heaven for the flu virus. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's that's total total sense from my mother.